At 6 a.m. this morning, we had a leak of 2,000 barrels into the bay. Those are words the Water and Power Authority officials hope they never have to say, but if they do, they'll have a plan in place to protect the public and the environment. We have an oil spill simulator that allows the uh, National Parks, NOAA, uh, National Conservancy uh, look at the, all the sensitive areas and how the sensitive areas will be protected in the event of, uh, of a real spill. At 10 minutes after 10, Unified Commanders got the word that the oil had started traveling eastward. Now, if this had been an actual emergency, the first responders would have dropped thousands of feet of boom into the water to contain the spill and keep it from traveling further along the seaport. Friday's drill with local and federal responders was initiated by WAPA as part of the National Preparedness for Response Exercise Program. We've stood up an incident command system under the National Incident Management System. We have the command staff, which I'm a part of, planning, operations, finance and logistics, and admin to allow us to properly execute a response so we can get the oil out of the water, stop the spill from occurring, and clean up the environment as rapidly and as quickly as possible. And the purpose of the drill? To see how well the teams respond and follow the area contingency plan as the minutes ticked away. The uh, simulation is to uh, develop and evaluate the area contingency plan and the uh, facility response plan that uh, WAPA have uh, developed. After this exercise, emergency responders will be able to address any areas that need improvement. Of course, we all plan not to have an uh, incident, but in case there's an incident, uh, everybody will be prepared. Erica Parsons, News 2.